What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Sonic Adventure DX. In the last part, we did none other than... We basically, uh, we got to start with Sonic Adventure. We beat Chaos Zero, we went to Emerald Coast, and then beat Eggman. And this part, we're gonna figure out what we can do with this. However, just once, sometimes it's not clear to figure out fire to just kick this. But yeah, Tails said to go to his workshop, and that's what we found in Tails' workshop, so I guess we can go over here. The key is floating. We go up here, and it's none other than Indy Valley, the second Sonic stage. Now we have to get the Chaos Emerald, so uh... I think the rest, most of these Sonic stages, like, some of these Sonic stages, like, you have to do a specific task, or others you have to get the Chaos Emerald, uh... Now, um, trick with the wind is that you want to keep holding up when you're going up, and you have to, uh, and you'll be shown the way, so, uh... The, uh, nice little 10 ring right there. We got a 1-up. I'm not always good at getting that 1-up, though. I always get it, like, 50% of the time. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna head up straight to avoid the tornado. And they're even telling us to do that. Jump on. We have to do that again like we did in Emerald Coast. And get up there. Yes, let's just say like, um, let me just say these camera angles like these animations, sometimes they can make people dizzy. And like if you're that per type of person, then I'm just gonna make it really clear this game isn't for you, or this playthrough might not be for you. Because, like, um, even though I'm mostly... There's some characters I like using in this game, others I don't like using, and one of them we don't like using we'll get to eventually. I think some of you have probably already figured it out by now. But there's other characters in this game I'm not really too fond of using either. I'd say there's half of the characters in this game I like using and others I really don't like using. Oh, uh, this there's gonna be a win, but uh, avoid those spikes. That can be a nice beginner's trap right there. See, that's the thing about Sonic that a lot of people don't like is like, is there a truly game about running fast? Because there's a lot of beginner's traps like this. But, uh, but like, if you know the layout of some of these stages, you'll overall be fine. Like, I did play, like, believe it or not, this was the first Sonic game I played, so I will cut it. See, like, I see, I kind of cut this game some slack mainly due to nostalgia because, like, if I were playing this for the first time now, I probably wouldn't like it. They wouldn't get 200 rings, but uh, the next stage, the next Sonic stage, we can get a fuck ton of rings in. Just follow the wind like we were before. Let's see if we can get 200 rings. Get 200 rings, uh, we're one short. I mean, I would have just made one extra life. That they Sonic Adventure, the Sonic portion, they handle lives like candy during the Sonic portion. Not as much other characters, though. Yeah, not bad. Again, I don't really care about getting any rankings in every level, so uh, I've made it clear multiple times it's not. This is not a hundred percent. I can't possibly do hundred percent of the DX part because, like, the because, like, let me show. I'm just gonna show. I'm just gonna really just show it off. I'm just gonna really show it off for a bit, but um, I'm gonna show you one particular reason I can't really 100% this. I do this, um. I'll, can I go to the Chow? I don't think I can go to the Chow Garden yet, but um, either way, like, uh, the Chow Garden is pretty much the one reason I can't 100% this, because I don't have a GBA doctor. And you need that to get all the Chow, gar the chow animals. I'll show off the Chow Garden, we're not gonna fully utilize it. 
Anyway, we're back in Station Square. Now, uh, it's, it's close to nighttime in Station Square. If we read the hint, we have to go down in the sewers. So, um, we just have to go down in the sewers and basically uh, we get a new power up also. I'll go for a majority of the power ups. I don't think I'm going to go for all of them. I'm just going to go for the ones that are really necessary, like these. You've got light speed shoes. Press and hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. All right, so that's the tutorial. Now let, now let me explain it my way. So basically when you uh, charge up your power by holding the B button, you can kind of go like that. And we are, we're, we're out of the sewer. So now there's also, um, now it's nighttime. So uh, let's just say there's one area in Station Square we have not explored yet. That's kind of how we get to the next area. However, there's one point in uh, Station Square that I, there's one point in the uh, Station Square Hotel. Um, there's one little thing I want to grab. You don't have to grab this, but like, uh, it just makes, it just makes this an easier experience. You see that power up that's behind that door? Which I failed to grab. Yeah, I'm, I can't always do that first try, but, um. Right, there we go. Get this. This is the crystal ring. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. Even though you don't have to get the crystal ring, I'd recommend getting it though. But anyway, now we're now that we have the light speed dash. Let's just say we can go here. We previously could not go here, so let's just say um. Yeah, shut up. We're not going to the Mystic Ruins yet, but um. Anyway, so um, welcome to probably one of my favorite stages in Sonic Adventure. Welcome to Casinopolis. Now, the whole gimmick of Casinopolis is that uh, it's a casino level, much like it's very, pretty much a tradition in Sonic levels. Now, there's pretty much two, um, there's pretty much two, um, there's pinball and there's slots. And the whole point is that you have to get rings to pretty much to get the Chaos Emerald done getting rings. But I'll kind of just show it off. I'll show off both of these. First of all, we'll show off the pinball because I like this more. I love this fucking music, by the way. Like, I've said this before, but Sonic Adventure's soundtrack is fucking brilliant. Like, even if you don't like Sonic Adventure, you have to kind of admit the soundtrack is brilliant. But, um, how the pinball stages work is that you have to kind of get, you have to get, kind of get matches in the cars to get rings. And if you run out of pin, pin if you run out of pinball balls and don't, and have, I think it's a hundred less rings, you go to the sewers, so, um, I'm not gonna really, uh, I wanna see if I can try to go to the upper area. I'm gonna try to see if I can get a match and then try to see if I can go in the upper area, because I think you have to sacrifice a ball in order to go in the upper area. Okay, so we got a, uh, and this nice pinball is also based off of, uh, Knights, which was a game for the Sega Saturn, which, uh, it is common among game companies to notice, um, to recycle their games. Oh, by the way, uh, I didn't really get to show this. We got three guys, we got three knights, but um, look at this. Hey, look, it's knights. How you doing, knights? Sound, what are you doing in a Sonic game? I know you were made by Sega, but you still. What's with the cross dimensions? Yeah, and now that I got to show with that, I think I'm just gonna dump my remaining pin, my, pinball balls. Cause like, I, want, I like to get less than a hundred rings. Cause even if you go to the sewers, you can get a fuck ton of rings in the sewers. So yeah, we're in the sewers. Now this is why I, also why I recommend getting the upgrade light speed dash, get the crystal ring. Look at this. We just got a fuck ton of rings right there. We only have a, we almost, we're almost a one up actually. And we just have to, Oh fuck, I'm going the wrong way. 
Yeah, we got we got everyone up. But uh, yeah, we're in the sewer. Once you're in the sewers, you can get a ton of rings. I also love the music that plays in the sewers as well. So we'll see the sewers quite. We'll see the sewers quite a bit actually. 166 rings. So we're already almost at 200 rings. So um. Just be careful of these spike ball things. I think once we get this, we should be getting enough to get 200 rings. And uh, yeah, we're at, uh, we're at 13 one. -up, we're at 13 one ups now. We just have to. Uh, we also got a ton of rings right there, and Song's gonna wash himself off. And we get to climb up the ladder. Now, um, now I'm gonna basically show the gimmick of Casino Obelisk. You see this area right here? You see this area right here? Uh, basically, we gotta try to deposit rings so we can kind of get away up the uh, to the Chaos Emerald. It's an interesting gimmick, let's just say. But um, yeah, we still cannot reach the Chaos Emerald, so we have to go and uh, get more rings. I'd say the best way to get a higher rank here is just get rid of your pinballs. So um. Get rid of the uh, pinball seat and basically, uh, and let's go to the slots. I kind of, I'm just gonna kind of demonstrate this, and again, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try to see if I can demonstrate everything that can happen in this, and then we're just gonna dump our many rings. That's not, that's not doing it. You get the uh, middle one, you get to play the slots. So let's see if we can show that. We ain't get to play the slots. What gives? Pretty sure you play. Oh wait. There we go. Are we a Sonic? We get a ring. Hey, we get a ring bonus. We get a ring 3K, and we get. We get 15 rings out of that. Now I want to see. I don't want to play the slots again. If you get three Eggmans, by the way, you lose all the rings, but, um, I think you lose all your rings, oh shit. I'm gonna have to dump my remaining rings, my remaining balls. Oh, we got 100 rings, which means we're not going to the, we're not going to the, uh, we're not going to the, uh, su we're not going to the sewer. We just go straight back to, uh... Now, 300, I think it's like 300 rings you have to deposit in order to uh, get to the, be able to get to the Chaos Emerald. I think we should have, I think we should have, I think we should have enough for much now to get to the Chaos Emerald. Let me just kind of test it, even though I don't want to end this stage with no rings. No, it's blocking us, so we still have to go back. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give one last shot at the. Uh, I'm gonna try one last shot at the slots. Oh, I think it's. I think if you go in the left one or the right one, we get to go to a higher platform. I didn't get to show the higher platform, unfortunately. But yeah, you can get a lot of rings this level. I didn't get three. I didn't get three Eggmans, thankfully. Oh, we're almost out of. We're almost out of pinball balls. But um, one last try. We don't want slots. Let's just go to this. I'm just gonna cut till we're out of the sewers. Alrighty, so out of the sewers, um, I'm gonna deposit, now we should have enough rings to get the Chaos Emerald, however, I still wanna end with, uh, some rings, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play one last Knight's Pinball, and we're gonna send off Casinopolis. Because now we should have enough rings to get the Chaos Emerald, however, I just wanna go, I just wanna play one last game of Knight's Pinball, because that's one of my favorite parts of Sonic Adventure, so I just like to do it every chance I get. Not playing the slots, we're playing the pinball. There we go. There we go. Let's go! Let's get to hear the awesome music again. 
Yeah, let's just say, uh, yeah, when I was younger, I used to like play Knights Pinball for like hours at a time. Like I would farm rings and just farm lives throughout this. Like I love this like area. I still love this area actually. I'm not going to last as long here as I did the first time. I just want to see if I can get a match and then I'm just going to dump my remaining I'm just going to dump my remaining uh, balls. I just, wanna, I just came here just to hear this awesome music and again if I get less than 100, I'm probably going to get less than 100 rings so I'll just cut until um well, if I get 100 rings, I don't have to go through the sewers again. I'm not really sure if I want to go through the sewers again, to be honest. Yeah, we're just going to dump our main balls. We'll just go through, we'll just suck it up and go through the sewers. And again, I'll just cut until, uh... We're out of the sewers. All right, out of the, out of the, out of the, uh, we're basically out of the, uh, sewers. So now we need to get the Chaos Emerald once and for all. Now, oh yeah, I was, sometimes I have a hard time, like, uh, getting out of this area. No, no, no. Okay. Let's just get the Chaos Emerald. And we're at a Casinopolis. We are so gonna miss this place. We have to come back here later as a different character. Yeah, not bad. All right, another dumb cutscene. <laughs> pretty much any cutscene in Sonic Adventure is pretty dumb, let's just say. Hey, there's Eggman again. Oh no, the Chaos Emerald. Oh no, you don't. Oh, jeez. Like, what kind of gas was that? Was that poison gas? Sleep gas? What? What the hell was that? Another cutscene. <laughs> oh man, what happened to that emerald we just had? Eggman stole it. Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them, but the other one's safe. That guy must be desperate. That means his two to our one, and that's not good. Come on, Sonic, we need to get busy. Ready. So what we have to do now is uh. We have to do now is um, the ice town. We have to go to the Mystic Ruins. I'll cut it off for this part. So next time on Sonic Adventure, we will go to the Mystic Ruins and place this ice town. See you guys then.